2013 Super Aeronautique 230 Team Edition. This Team Edition is in thermal yellow, gunmetal with a white hull. It has uh, docking lights, underwater lights, uh, spinner racks, um, bimini, uh, driver mirror, uh, some cool things about this, custom pieces, it's got tinted windows to it. Um, the tower actually has been custom painted to be gunmetal. Um, other gun or other painted pieces to it are the spinner racks, the four tower speakers, and the vents. Uh, it's got a transom remote to it, and this 230 Team Edition sits on a Phoenix tandem axle trailer with LED lights, swing away tongue, uh, transom tie downs, the whole works on it. Very, very sparkly looking 230. Now we've gone around the outside, let's jump on the interior and take a look at uh, all the features to this 230 team. Alright, now, now that we're inside this uh, 230 team, let's go ahead and, and dive into all of its key features. Nice center walkway when you're coming up from the transom. Um, tons of storage back here. Open up both hatches nice and wide, easy to get uh, wakeboards down in uh, and get them stored away. We're actually running an upgraded ballast system in this boat, which gives it around 3,000 pounds of, of uh, ballast, which is really nice. Um, this is optioned with the center walkway fill cushion. So when this is closed, you've got the ability to lay all the way across uh, without having to uh, miss anything with that walkway. And then easily stows away with magnets, fills it right back in. Got a nice little tray here, compartment for uh, gloves, uh, anything like that that might be wet. It's got a drain, so nice and easy storage for that kind of stuff. Walking through, you can see that we have a cut in the back bench where there's a step. Um, this step actually reverses, and there's a pad on the back side, so you can have a full uh, vinyl bench across the back, or you can have this nice stepway so that you don't have people walking on your uh, vinyl. Easy to flip over, flip of the back benches, flips up, put them back down, it's locked into place. Um, on this side, you can see that we have our igloo cooler uh, stowed away under the bench, not taking up any real space. Um, the nice thing about this, the nice option on this 230 team is that we have the integrated uh, charger system. So you can hook that up to a power outlet charges batteries, ba battery maintenance, everything like that, so the next time you go out you're not left with a dead battery. Um, we've got the heater and defroster right here is the defroster heater. Heater hose right here pulls out, can reach all the way across to uh, anybody else in the boat that you might want to hit up. Um, maybe the rider that just got out of the water uh, on a nice December day like we're having today. Um, has the clip-ins for uh, a, a bench, which is an option that we have not put on this one, easy to upgrade to it, not a big deal, uh, but has the ability to have that nice uh, reverse seating. JMN seat here, so this uh, individual has a back to lean against, same on this side. Um, cup holders, all that kind of good stuff tucked in, so, you know, very comfortable uh, layout on the inside of this 230. <clears throat> Continuing on with the storage. With these two uh, parts of the bench flipping open, you can go all the way up and uh, have a nice large area for all your dry goods stuff, uh, towels and all that kind of nice stuff. You got the two amps that are running the tower speakers right there. Um, we've got actually stowed away, this boat is optioned with the uh, slide in air dam, which I'll show you in, a, in just a minute where that goes. So. Come up here to the glove box. You got your CD player, uh, stereo system. You got your uh, power outlet, and you have a USB connector for your stereo. Hook up your iPods, all that kind of good stuff. Play your music. Um, coming up to the bow, we have the bow filler cushion, which is easily removed. You can stow it away in any of those compartments. I was just telling you. You can walk all the way through. You have cup holders. Uh, power outlet up here as well, drainage system. This 230 has the 
uh, snap out carpet in it. So if you do get caught out in the rain, had a wet day, anything like that, you can just take it all out, hang it up to dry, get it all completely dried out, snap it right back in and ready to go for the next time. We'll come up to the helm now and take a look. Uh, it does have the Link 2 screen, the 2013 uh, steering wheel, along with shifter knob, and the Hydrogate. Um, <clears throat> Link 2 screen, we'll run through it just really quickly. Uh, you got your main screen here, which gives you uh, your RPMs, your, shows you where your zero off uh, set speed is at. Um, really nice on the Link 2 screen for this season is that the gas and the depth finder are on every single screen you go to so you're never having to switch back to a main screen to figure out what's going on with those two uh, components. Down this right hand side you can see we have options for the stereo, speed controls, turn it on and off. Nice thing is when you click something it lights up here and it changes on the main screen so you got two places to make sure that it's going correctly. Change your uh, zero off speed, you can change the view here change the view you can see we have 5.3 hours it's got your air temp and your water temp a crisp 57 today with water at 43 change it again you get your uh, GP or your map um, ballast system change it again uh, video hookup and then we're back to the main screen and the other nice thing is all those little screens we saw right there you come down this left hand side and you get a full version screen so like I said before you get your miles an hour you get your depth and you get your fuel on every single screen nav page blown up music page blown up your users you can set your users uh, wake pro intermediate click on which one you want surfing port surfing starboard set it to what you want and then forget it it sets the boat up exactly how it needs to be you can set up your own personal user settings so that you go out you put your you click to your name and it'll set the boat up exactly how you want to ride at the speed you want everything like that switches page uh, change your links the screen brightness courtesy lights overhead docking underwater so like I was saying before you can see that these are on and these are lit up down this right hand side um, and then the last one is the blown up page of your ballast system so really easy thing to or really easy to navigate through um, on the walk around the outside, you saw what I was talking about, some of the custom paint job, uh, custom painted pieces on this tower, or on this on this boat, so go ahead and just kind of point it out in person. Um, we'll start off here at the racks. We had the spinner racks painted white, took the Nautique um, wakeboard emblem on the inside and painted that yellow, took this, painted this uh, swivel piece yellow. The tower, which is one of the coolest things about this, is gunmetal. This is the first gunmetal one, uh, gunmetal tower out there. It just absolutely sparkles in the, in the sunlight. It just really ties in the whole scheme of the boat. When you come up to the four tower speakers, um, took the bottom of the can, painted it yellow, took the rest of the can, painted it white. Um, you, can, you can see that we have the, under, the lights underneath on. So just took every last piece of this boat and really tied it in to make the whole color scheme uh, just work together. So on the interior color scheme, we have the gunmetal uh, main stripe with the thermal yellow piping. Um, so just really clean and cool looking boat. So if you have any more questions about this 230 Team Edition, uh, give Michael a call at N3 Boatworks, 317-845-925. Right, the last thing I want to show you on this 230 team is the uh, new Bimini that we have set up on this. Currently in the stow position, uh, it can go down the road in this position. It's got its um, exterior bag on it, so it's got clips on it. Undo it. Holds up nice, still away.
So completely set, ready to go. Um, very strong, uh, sturdy piece. What's really nice about this is because these are angled down, as you get uh, early sunlight and late day sunlight coming over the sides, it actually blocks a lot better than a straight uh, flat bimini on top. So um, comes down, cuts that gap in between here as well. So um, if you got any more questions about this 230 Team Edition, give Michael a call at N3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253.